All right, shalom. Let there be light. Okay, yeah. So this is this exposed DVD. I, I would highly recommend, you know, checking it out, information, knowledge. But they, um, the makers of these uh, exposed DVDs, they do a pretty good job in compiling from the Internet a lot of information that's out there on certain timely subjects and everything. And this one here is on the real reason why Libya was attacked and the killing of Muammar Gaddafi. Then it says they cannot, cannot have a unified Africa. And you can see the NATO symbol right there. So this basically talks about, um, you know, Muammar Gaddafi and what some of the opinion is out there concerning his his demise. Now this picture right here, will somebody please tell me what's up with that? I was wondering why he got that picture there. But then as you um, check out this particular DVD, you know, it makes a very passionate kind of plea that basically, you know, Gaddafi was killed and the reasons why and has to do, some speculate, with uniting Africa and that Gaddafi was this real revolutionary here. So it has various clips on here, all right? But I want you to check this out. We just watched this African, um, Native African, um, this, this Hamite, Kamite, you know, make a very impressive um, abetuta or appeal, you know, a kind of complaint on why they killed um, Muammar Gaddafi, right? And so I want to show you that Gaddafi really didn't, didn't really represent black people in Africa or America, really. But speaking of us as so-called African hyphenated Americans, he really didn't, you know, represent that. And he didn't really understand the black man in America's situation. We'll give you a little clip here, and perhaps you'll get to better understand this. So let's check this out. Okay, here we go right here. Let's turn off this. Right here, and let's back it up. You're going to have to read the um, subtitles, the subtitles, and we'll emphasize what we think is, is necessary. So let's back this up right here. All right, he's talking about Obama and, and his version of history, you know, but let's check it out. Right here, okay, he says the change, that the, Amer the change that the American people and the black people in America want, you know, the black people in America. All right, remember, Gaddafi is an Arab, and the Arabs are about the Arab situation. If they have to use their oil money to pay off some silly Africans to do their bidding, to fight their wars against other Arab people like the Benghazi, red, black, and green patriots, so be it. But here he's speaking about the black man in America, right, and what the, the change that the so-called black man in America wants. Okay, is that the black man suffers from an inferiority complex. This is dangerous. If our brother Obama feels that because he is black, he doesn't have the right to rule America, this would be a disaster, he says, right? Because such a feeling would make him behave whiter than the white. And go to an extreme in his persecution and degradation of the black. 
We say to him, brother, the whites and blacks in America are equal. What? Okay, now here's, here's where he starts to get into what we think demonstrates that Gaddafi was an Arab for the Arabs, a Muslim for the Muslims, you know, and he would pay off certain Africans to do his fighting against other tribes because this is a part of the history of that region of the world and the Arabs. Remember the Arabs and the slave trade. He's not going to mention anything about how the Arabs and the Mohammedans were down with the whites in the slave trade. This is how Libya right now is mostly an Arab or a white Arab country today. But check out what he says right here. He says that the whites and the blacks in America are equal. He should be running. Well, he can't be running for nothing now, but Let's go on. Let's go on right here. Stop, stop, stop right there. He says, cool, all of them are immigrants. This is what Gaddafi's saying. Gaddafi says that the blacks and the whites in America are immigrants. Okay? See, he can't talk about this. He can't talk about slavery, really, because... That will tie in. The white man can always say, but um, y'all sold those blacks to me. You're our people. America belongs neither to the whites nor the blacks. America belongs to its original inhabitants, the Indians. The Indians. All right? Now, so he mixes uh, a lie with a truth. He said both the whites and the blacks, get this right here, the blacks immigrated. I wish we had the laugh track or something. The blacks immigrated to America, and so they are equal. The blacks and the whites immigrated to America. Is this what Gaddafi was teaching those poor Africans? And Obama has the right to hold his head high because he's black and white, right? And say, I am a partner in America. This is my land as much as it is yours. Boy, didn't he say it belongs to the Indians and they both immigrated? If it is not my land, it is not yours either. So then he just said that they both immigrated. So let's take his argument. That means that they took it from the natives, the Indians, right? So how can he then say this, turn around and say this, all right? But let's, let's just go on just a little bit further with this. It is the land of the Indians. You are immigrants. You are immigrants, right? The black Obama says to the white, and so are we. Why doesn't Gaddafi and a lot of other Arabs don't want to talk about the slave trade? We still hope that this black man will take pride in his African and Islamic identity. Here you won't get Obama in trouble, right? And in his faith. I thought his Islamic identity was his faith. So now on the Arab and Mohammedan side, you can see there's this split too in a lot of the Mohammedans. They have an Islamic identity, but then their faith is something else. All right? And that he will know that he has rights in America, Sheikh Gaddafi. And that he will change America from evil to good. I guess alchemy, huh? So you can see right here that Gaddafi really didn't know or didn't want to tell the true story of black people. He don't know, so he doesn't serve us 
very well and he didn't serve us very well. This is just a, a little demonstration. Um, we could have gone into this a little bit deeper and everything like that, but it's very clear from what Gaddafi says. He considers that black people are immigrants, not that they came over here in the chains of slave, because the same people that Gaddafi's folks and those kind of Africans that he had over there as migrant laborers and mercenaries fighting for him were those kind of people that sold us to the white man, sold our ancestors to the white man. So what Gaddafi wanted to do was use that same sort of strategy against his own Arab people, you understand? But his Arab people basically said, we ain't going to be no niggas. We ain't going to be no slaves. We're going to defeat you and these little niggas from sub-Saharan Africa that you're paying off. You know, you sold those other niggas over there, but you ain't going to sell us. And we see basically what was the end of Gaddafi. Shalom. Rastafari.